May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and it is also time for the fourth annual Real Minds Miami Mental Health Film Festival. And joining us with more is Catherine Coppola, Executive Director of NAMI Miami Dade, and Susan Racher, President of NAMI Miami Dade. Thank you, ladies, both for joining Thank us. For so, having you. this festival is being touted as like one of you know one of the only one happening right now in the country. Why is it so unique? Why is it so special? Well, there's a lot of things that make it unique. First of all, it's in Miami. Miami doesn't have anything like this, nor does Florida. But one of the things is it's free, right? That makes it really important and anyone can get a free ticket. Okay. So besides a free ticket, we have free food. We have free live music by two amazing guys who both are living in recovery from a mental health challenge and they even write songs about um, their mental health recovery. Um, we also have free door prizes um, and we have six films. They're short films. And after each of the film, we have someone with a lived experience who speaks to or about what we've just seen as an audience. So, so if we have a film about OCD, we're going to have someone talk about OCD. And they only talk five minutes. So it's not a big speaker presentation because the films are the main subject matter, but everyone there has a lived experience. They know what it's like either to have OCD, to be a suicide um, survivor, they could be bullied, they may have a family member who has schizophrenia, mm -hmm. or in um, a case here, the a local man, Bo Hall, is going to talk about his being homeless and how a program over at Miami Beach Police Department helped him and now he's working with the police department to help others with homelessness. So we were talking earlier about the fact that an estimated one in five folks, whether it be adults or children, are struggling with some sort of mental health condition, but there's just like so little awareness about this topic. Is that what you're seeing here in, in Miami-Dade? Absolutely, and, and we actually started Real Minds uh, four years ago to increase awareness, to reach people who ordinarily would not seek mental health care or mental health education, but who would go to a film festival. And the films are highly educational. They're original films uh, produced um, generally by individuals who have a message uh, uh, to share through film, generally their own lived experience. We have uh, generally uh, young filmmakers. And the, the magnitude and size of the film festival and the reach it has in the community from mm -hmm. every zip code, every part of the county and Broward, uh, is really is pretty awesome. It's an educational event, so people will leave the film festival knowing much more about mental health than they did when when they arrived, and that's our goal. So tell me about one of your favorite films that we'll be seeing. The films this year are the best that we've ever had. They're all original and they're art films. They are not documentaries uh, or instructional films. Uh, my favorite is a film called Misdirection mm -hmm. about a, a young w woman, a young gay woman who has OCD and who her journey through this short film, and they are all short films, her journey to coming to terms and finding an outlet uh, for her OCD. And then that film will be followed by a, a brief presentation by Dr. Barbara Coffey, who is division chief for child psychiatry at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine and she will talk about OCD and so we have a combination of a very fun entertaining and I don't want to give away the end of the film it's <laughs> very cute film uh, with educational content so and, so I know you're trying to address the stigma of, of mental illness mm -hmm. like what do you hope the audience will walk away because I was talking to you about you know who is your target audience in all of this um, if somebody let's say perhaps they don't have a mental health condition, um, but you really, this is about educating right everyone, right? Right, our, our, our goal is sensitivity and understanding. Um, so there are a lot of um, issues that we, we try to address. One is the commonality of mental health conditions, that it's not rare or unique. Um, two is that there's help 
and that there are solutions and that recovery is possible. Uh, so to follow on Kathy's comment about lived experience, uh, when a young adult comes, addresses the audience and, and talks about their experience in college and the fact that they uh, lived with a, a, a diagnosis that was untreated for many years and they suffered and now they're being treated and they're okay, uh, that's, very, that's a whole message of hope uh, and optimism uh, for people. So we want to make that message and then we want to help people understand how to access resources. So since you talked about help, um, NAMI of course is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Uh, you provide an, an, an amazing uh, set of resources for the community. So tell me out there for folks who don't know, perhaps they are suffering from a mental health condition or a loved one is, what can you offer them and where do they get this help? Sure, they can go to NAMIMiami.org. We are the, the local Miami affiliate of a national organization. So our organization has affiliates, thousands of affiliates throughout the United States. And our programs are um, created at NAMI National uh, in Virginia. And all we have to do as a, an affiliate, as Susan many times, is just go up and pick the apple. Which program can we offer? Do we have the capacity? Do we have the funding? And so we um, restarted and some people say we rebooted mm -hmm. only four years ago when we first started having the film festival. And so since that time, we've brought support groups for people who have mental health challenges. We have support groups for the family members, and using that term broadly, friends, family, um, and we have uh, support groups for them. And we have education programs uh, for people who have mental health challenges, and we have it for families. We have them in Spanish and Creole, and then we have other programs. We started a new youth program, and that's the theme of this year's film festival, Ending the Silence, where the Miami-Dade County School Department has invited us to come into the schools to offer this program. You are sharing with me that so few people actually get help that need it. Why is that, and why is it such a big problem here in, in South Florida? It's a huge problem, and it's estimated nationally uh, about half of the people who have a mental health condition are treated. So that means that half are not. In Miami-Dade, the numbers are much worse. Uh, there are estimates of uh, about 24, 25 percent of those with a mental health condition receive treatment, and there are several reasons. Um, one is that Florida is at the very bottom of the country in mental health funding. Uh, we're number 49 or 50. We spend about $39 a person on mental health funding. Uh, states like Minnesota spend almost 10 times that amount. So that's, access is a big issue. Uh, there's a wait list to see psychiatrists. There's a wait list to get into substance use um, treatment. Uh, so access is, is, a, is a very big problem. And then culture and fear and stigma, well, which is what Real Minds is trying to um, address in part mm -hmm. and what ending the silence really hits between the eyes in terms of addressing stigma and, and fear. And what a great thing to use film to educate mm -hmm. us all. Ladies, yes. thank you both for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. And you can check out the Real Minds Film Festival at the University of Miami's Shalala Center. That's this Sunday. The curtain goes up at 2 p.m.